Hi, I'm Shannon with Home Alchemy Living, and today I'm going to show you how to make a tincture. Um, I'm guessing that you already know what one is if you're watching, but if not, a tincture is a concentrated liquid slash extract that is made from soaking any variety of plant or herbal material in an alcohol-based solution that is then used for medicinal purposes or taken as kind of like a daily supplement to overall kind of boost your health and, and aid in what I hope is already kind of a, a well-balanced diet. Um, the one that I'm going to be making today is using the herb thyme. Uh, thyme, as you know, we use in a multitude of culinary dishes, um, but the reason I'm making it is for the upcoming cold and flu season and also for some skin issues. I know we don't want to think about the winter time, but uh, the fall season will be upon us here in the Northeast in just a few weeks or so. And since it takes about a month and a half for the tincture to finish curing, it should be ready just in time. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> there are a lot of benefits to time other than using it in the culinary way that I just described. It's very high in vitamin C, it has anti-inflammatory properties, uh, it aids in respiratory health, is known to alleviate um, cough and congestion, uh, what else? It also helps with liver, liver health, and last but not least, treating acne. Um, how it is used to treat acne would be cleaning your skin and then taking some of your final cured solution and either taking it right from the mason jar or you could pour some of that solution into a dropper bottle and then just apply it to your skin once or twice a day. And at this point, I'm going to throw a disclaimer out there. Always consult your GP or, um, you know, just take care whenever you're using a new herbal supplement. Um, in the event that you might have an allergy, I don't want to be responsible for somebody having a bad reaction. Uh, on the contrary, I'm here to kind of offer information to, you know, try to help your health, not hurt it. Um, with that being said, let's get started. It's really quick, really easy, and I'm going to show you how. All right. So what you're going to do here is take your herb. In this case, as you already know, I'm using thyme and I'm using a pot of thyme. Uh, the reason being that once I cut it down, I can uh, regrow it again for any other uses I plan on having for it. The next step, um, oh, before I get into that, you can also use a dried herb that you can find in the grocery store, uh, just like what I'm showing you here, or also in the spice aisle. Uh, any grocery store should have it. I'm going to go ahead and just cut down the herb and start filling the mason jar about a half uh, to three quarters of the way full. And then the next step after that is I'm going to use an 80 proof flavorless vodka. And why would I use an 80 proof vodka, you might ask. Um, some people also use grain alcohol. Vinegar has been said to be used as well. Um, the reason that you want to go with the vodka is because it will inhibit any kind of bacterial growth under the lid of that mason jar. It will also pull out any active ingredients from your plant or herbal material. So, and it also, last but not least, extends the shelf life of your tincture. So it can last from, I, I would say, beyond a few months to probably even a couple years, most likely it's not going to be stored that long because hopefully you'll, you'll be using it, it will be working well, and you'll want to make more. Once you go ahead and start filling your mason jar, you want to stop about a half an inch to an inch from the top. And then you're going to put your lid on. And I just used a black Sharpie, but you can label your herb uh, on the top and then write the date of when you made it. You're then going to store it in a dark uh, place, dark cool place like your pantry or your cupboard, shaking it up every few days or so just to get the solution moving around. In about six weeks this should be done curing and what you're going to do next is you can take a piece of cheesecloth or right here I have uh, like a cheesecloth strainer 
you're going to put it over the top of your mason jar and simply filter out your herbal material, pouring your concentrated solution into a fresh jar, or you can pour it over a colander into a pot and then simply pour it back into the same jar. And that's pretty much it. Um, I have a dropper bottle there that I will then pour some solution into so I can use it directly from the dropper bottle uh, for any kind of skin solutions. Um, acne, as I had mentioned before, you can use it by applying once to two times a day. Final disclaimer is please, please, please always be careful when trying a new supplement. Um, consult with your GP if you're not sure or if you think you may have an unknown allergy. Thanks for watching.